This video explains how to use a jib throwing system. Jib throwing systems are wonderful devices. They save us perhaps a half an hour each time we go sailing compared to the time and effort involved in pulling out a hang on jib, putting it on and then later putting it away. Jib throwing systems are very easy to use and can be quite reliable in operation provided you follow some simple rules. So let's take a look at what's involved in properly unfurling a jib. First, free up the furling line and lay it out neatly so it's ready to run freely. You've got to make sure there's no kinks uh, or snarls in the line or it will hang up. Next, put two turns of the lured jib sheet on the winch. And finally, step three, easing the furling line with one hand, trim the jib sheet with the other hand to deploy the the jib. Uh, you want to be sure to keep some pressure on the furling line as the jib deploys so that the line rolls tightly and neatly around the furling drum. Okay, we want to take a look here what's involved in deploying the jib. First thing is to get the furling line off the uh, stern rail and free. You want to lie it down pull it into turns make sure that there's no kinks in it so that when it goes to run out it will run out freely there we go that looks good next you take the uh, lured uh, jib sheet put two turns around the winch and once you've done that you're ready to deploy the jib grab the furling line in one hand the jib sheet in the other hand. Your objective here is that as you pull the jib out you want to keep a little pressure on the furling line uh, because you want to ensure that the furling line rolls up snugly and tightly around the uh, drum at the bottom of the furler. So you don't want to let it just run up right out. You just ease it out as the jib jib comes out when the jib's out all the way you're done your jib's now ready for use you can clean up the furling line so it's out of the way and you're all set now let's look at the steps involved in properly furling the jib first hold the lure jib sheet with the turn on the winch then take the furler line in your other hand step three Alternately, trim the furler line, and when it gets hard to pull, ease the sheet. Then trim the furler line again, ease the sheet, trim the furler line, ease the sheet. And eventually when the jib is wound up, you want to finish with two turns of the sheet around the jib. So this is what you want to see as a result of your furling operation. A tightly furled sail with a couple of turns of the sheet wrapped around the sail. The importance of a tight furl is shown in this picture. If the jib is loosely furled, a strong wind can stretch the fabric out, produce a high load on the furling equipment, and eventually something breaks, as shown in this picture, where the sail deploys and gets destroyed in the wind. So let's review the common mistakes in jib furls. The first is the loose furl furling the jib without keeping pressure on the jib sheet. The second is jamming the furler drum, letting the furling line run free when deploying the jib. And the third is never use a winch to furl the jib. If you've got a lot of pressure on the furling line, try heading downwind and getting the jib behind the mainsail and that should reduce the pressure. If you need to use the winch to furl the jib, then something's wrong. You should investigate what the problem is if you use a winch, you want a good chance of breaking your gear.